How do you pick the best orchid for your home? First thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna, of course, look for bloom power. It's not only the flowers, it's the amount of buds. So it's the blooms that are yet to come. If you have any blooms that are starting to fall off, that's an indication that's a little bit older, not an older orchid, but the blooms have been there for an extended period of time. So if you want more bloom power, you look to make sure that they have some buds that are there. Next, what we're going to do is to look to the leaves. We look at the leaves and we look at the color. The color of the leaves doesn't necessarily have to be a deep green. As a matter of fact, you want it to be a lighter green. But on the leaves, we're also looking to make sure that there is no spots, maybe even damaged parts, and especially no sticky substance, because that's a sign of an insect. Now with the roots themselves, you can see these are aerial roots that are sticking out of the top that are here. Those roots, if you just gently touch them, if they're firm, they're fabulous. If they're dry and if they're mushy and or gray, that's a sign of over overwatering or underwatering.